We started working on uh, new treatments for lymphoma and leukemia about 20 years ago. We've been working on a way to make the patient's own cells uh, work in a way against leukemia that, that it happens when a bone marrow transplant's done, which is where usually a brother or a sister donates their immune system to the patient with leukemia. Leukemia is a blood cancer. There are many different kinds of leukemias and in fact related disorders called lymphoma. We've treated patients with a type of chronic leukemia called chronic lymphocytic leukemia or CLL. In general the only curative approach has been a bone marrow transplant. And while that was a major advance in the 1980s, the problem with the bone marrow transplant is it really works best in younger patients and it has lots of complications uh, with ongoing um, for years sometimes uh, requiring further medication. So, and, and the final limitation of the bone marrow transplant is often patients don't have a match or that match can't be identified in time for the patient. So the project or the technology really began as a way to figure out how we could grow immune cells, specifically T lymphocytes, and looking at ways to get those to grow with reagents or materials that we could use over and over again. And what we do is we take patient cells that are obtained from in a facility in the hospital to collect white cells, and we can isolate particular cells, activate them, deliver genes, and we test them prior to releasing them back to the patient. So it really is a form of molecular engineering on cells to make them better able to find tumor and kill tumor. In our study, it's the first time we've shown that T cells are what are called serial killers, and that's that they can kill one tumor cell and then go and kill another, and we found in all three of our patients that the T cells killed at least a thousand tumor cells. For the first time that's ever been uh, shown uh, anywhere near, near that kind of efficiency. We started a pilot study uh, in only three patients um, to test the safety of the approach, um, and the actual trial exceeded our, uh, our wildest outcome and, and imagination, actually, because what we found is all three patients have had uh, a remarkable anti-tumor response, and that um, literally pounds of leukemia have uh, been eradicated in all three patients. We saw the cells homing to the area where there is tumor, specifically into the marrow. We saw the cells at the peak of their expansion resulting in a very potent inflammatory response by the production of multiple immune factors that are important for the immune system to be revved up. And finally we saw the T cells decaying but not disappearing. We saw a substantial number of cells remaining circulating and in the marrow of patients very, very late after infusion, 9 to 12 months entirely unprecedented in the field. And finally, we saw that those cells, not only did they remain there, but they were able to be triggered, recognized, and kill cancer cells when they encountered them again. What was so exciting to us is that all three patients really had a very dramatic response. In fact, two of the patients have achieved a complete remission, which hadn't been possible with any of the other treatments they've received. This is the first time in a cancer clinical trial that we know the cells that we've infused have persisted and we can link their persistence and their function to the tumor disappearing. It's not like antibody or chemotherapy where you have to give over and over and over. This is a drug, this drug that is an engineered cell product that we can give will persist, divide, and kill tumor. So our, our therapy now is, is uh, that we've developed here with these cells is, is the first example that I'm aware of where uh, it's, it's gone entirely into treating patients now and is heading on to more advanced trials without the support of a pharmaceutical industry. Um, and so it it's, it's has a different mode of uh, development, which is coming through an academic center. And then later there'll probably be a, be a handoff to the pharmaceutical industry as later stage trials. We um, have benefited in our therapy uh, here because there's been a lot of support from philanthropy. We, we really uh, benefited from uh, the Alliance for Cancer Gene Therapy who has supported this trial um, and, and, and allowed this to, uh, to come to an initial pilot test. And we also are in the midst of a setting of tremendous 
basic research uh, that we can take into our facility and translate it to the bedside. So we're integrated. Uh, we have one hand bridging from the research lab and the other hand delivering the cells to the clinic.